everybody, how's it going? Today's project is going to be replacing a bad power cord on my RV here. Got some Camto stuff. Got a 35 foot cord, 30 amp, heavy duty locking power cord. Got the power grip plug on there, which is pretty cool. I've been messing with that already and I like it. Makes things a lot easier. Plugging them in and out. We also got the 30 amp converter, dog bone, the uh, 30, uh, 30 amp RV plug to a 15 amp standard wall outlet. I can't, uh, can't quite remember what those are called. I'll put that up on the screen so I can plug into the shop or wherever else I need to do that. Also with the power grip. Not by Campco. I'll put uh, I'll put some links below for you. 30 amp RV inlet. Wait. All right. So we got the connector. Let's connect the protective cover there. Got a cushy seal, keep water out of the hole we're about to drill in the RV. And there's your connection. It'll be nice. Quick way to take off the cord and put it away. And then do away with that broken box I have on the side there where the uh, original cord used to be. It has been repurposed, however. Also got some 10 gauge 3-in-1 insulated wire. Got this at a hardware store. I uh, can't remember what I paid for that. So it's, it's priced per foot. And that will be used to make the connection from this to my RV's power selector box. Which is going to be awesome. I've been wanting to hook that final connection up for the longest time now. So let's take a look down here. Got the original RV cord there, which is in pretty bad shape. As I've updated in a vlog in the past, in one of my, as I've mentioned in a previous vlog, this was shorting out and not doing so good in that uh, receptacle there. After continued use, it has gotten very hot and started crumbling and falling apart and eventually completely failed and I no longer had power in the RV. Uh, I was having experiencing a uh, brownout and flickering power and this was just pretty much done at that point. That's all fried, falling apart. So I can't use that anymore. Anyway. Instead of replacing the plug ends, I will, uh, this is, this is meant for the generator anyway, so I would like to hook this back up to the generator where it should be, and then have a separate cord for shore power. That would normally do. Something like that. That cord runs under the RV and back to the original storage compartment for that cord. However, it was disconnected and rerouted through the bottom of its bin there. And covered up, put some shielding on there, added a junction box to go through the uh, bottom of the cabinet, goes up and over the wheel well. So I'm going to put that connector probably on that after I remove it or cover it up or fix it or something. I'll see what I figure out here. Got a 3 inch hole saw which fits just snug over this protective case here. Which is good. I want this going into a snug fitting hole so this doesn't uh, have a chance to pop through. It's just kind of 
loosely sits back here, so this needs to be pinned in between the wall and the connector plate there. So I'll make a tight uh, three inch. Looks pretty good. Do with this thing. Hmm. Okay, just put a board there and reinforce that and then drill the hole through that. Yeah, it's not really all that brittle yet, so. I don't think it's too bad idea just to reuse this. Oops. Got the door slammed on it. That's why it broke. So I'm worried about the plastic. Now oh, there's a crack right there. I should just patch that up. Sealed up some gaps. All right, just had this show up in the mail. 30 amp to 30 amp extension, since the 25 foot won't be enough on the cord with the locking connector. So this will be uh, uh, used here at the ranch, and when I don't have enough cord at an RV park or wherever I may use this. They do have a 50 foot locking cord, but I didn't want to have to haul it around if I didn't have to. If I'm at an RV park, I don't think I'll need the full 50 feet. But this way i got two 25 foot sections that can be um, used if needed. And there is enough slack on this strap that came with the locking connector cord. I could throw that on there as well and have a nice little bundle of cable for hooking up the RV to the grid. Links below. Alright, look at that. I even got the dog bone on there. little bundle all right I'm gonna drill a new hole here for the cable I'm just 
going to find this wire up inside uh, the cabinet area where all the wires are and make sure there's room to drill right here without running into anything. So I'll look for this wire because it's easy to spot. Make sure we're good and then I'll drill a new hole. Maybe I'll put it a little more centered so it's easy to get to. I'm going to try to put this back together. Just need to line it up and put that patch on. That 3-in-1 cable is now ran through the floor. So we got ground, neutral, and hot. Oh boy, it feels good finally hooking this up. What is it? Has it been a year yet since I made this thing? Finally have all our connections done. Shore power, generator one, generator two, and inverter. Four-way selector. So what's going on here? All right, all wired up on the inside here. Okay, that's all patched up. With it, let's go ahead and take that out.
I don't think I'll caulk this shut, but I'm at least going to caulk the top of this board so water doesn't trickle in past this crack. And also get behind the board and rust out these screws, so maybe just a thin bead of silicone along the top. I do have some quad, but uh, that would be a little more permanent in my opinion. If I just put some silicone, it's easy to strip off quad. Vulcum, those things are... It's a pretty tough caulk. It's hard to remove that stuff. So I think, yeah, just a bead of silicone along the top to help preserve the back part of this board. Yeah, so this just keeps bugging me. I might even throw a screw. That's probably because the whole ball is warped. tab on the bottom that you can loosen up and pinch the wires in. The way those fit in there, nice and clean. So I can go like this. are just a little too small for any of the screws I got, so I'm giving them just a little size increase here.
so there's one 125 foot. Let's grab our second 25 foot here. I like the flexibility of these cords, they're really fleshy. I like that. Shove them together. Yeah, that's nice. I like those. And then the dog bone. So I can plug into a 15 amp wall outlet inside the shop there behind me. All right, seems like we got power. We got two sources coming in there. One is the small generator, which I'm using to bypass the fried uh, original cord for the RV, which goes back to the large generator now. And I have found a plug in all my junk to replace that one with, so I can have the uh, 8,000 watt available when I need it. All right, finally got this number one lit up. Wait forever to hook this up and get it completed. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the number we're on three right now. That's the smaller generator. That'll be three. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four inputs. And this selects between the top and the bottom switches. I will get these labeled here soon, but. Uh, yeah, this will now be main, or shore power, small generator, inverter, and big generator. So let's go ahead and disconnect power. You can hear the battery backup beep in here in a second. Um, so we want shore power and a switch. Boom! We're now using the brand new Camco Power Grip Power Cord 30 amp for the RV here. And finally, start using my air conditioner and my hot water heater. I can't pull too many current, too much current through a standard extension cord like that. So let's go get that thing unplugged. Still might caulk this shut at some point, but I like that I can gain access if I need to. Maybe make that sewer hose storage or something. Keep it up off the ground like that so ants and other bugs don't use it as a ladder. They can climb up this end, but they'll come they'll end up on the generator somewhere or something. I don't know. Alright everybody, thank you for watching this install of my new power cord, the power grip from Camco. 30 amp, 30 to 15 amp dog bow and 
25 foot extension with a 25 foot locking connector to a 30 amp RV plug. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. There's a lot more projects coming up. Have a good day.